we're going to be doing a Bunsen burner revision class in preparation for when uh, you return to school and we can actually go ahead and get our Bunsen burner licenses. This is a hands-on test, so here's some little hints to help you to revise. Now firstly, hopefully you've all got the notes that we took uh, in class. They should be in your notebook. If not, I'm just going to show you the notes very quickly. And here's those notes. Okay, I will and I can be asking questions to do with these notes, to do with the different colour flames and what you might use them for and how you get those different colour flames. Our learning intentions for today, identifying the parts of a Bunsen burner and lighting a Bunsen burner safely. Within your textbook on page nine, you'll find some handy notes on the Bunsen burner. The first part of this video lesson is to name the parts of the Bunsen burner. I have a Bunsen burner here. I've also drawn one on the board for you. I'd like you to have a go at um, naming the parts of the Bunsen burner as we go through. So I'll give you a couple of little seconds before I go to write the answer on the board. So here's our Bunsen burner. We have at the top, so we're looking at this bit here. This is the I hope you all said barrel. Okay, what about if we go to the bottom part, the bottom part of the Bunsen burner? Yep, that's the base. And then if we move up, we're going to be looking at this bit. This bit is the part that you turn around to get the different colour flames. See it turning there? That's called the collar. And then within the collar, um, you end up with this hole, okay, to let more oxygen in. That is the air hole. And if you can, if you look through that air hole, you will find what lets the gas into the Bunsen burner. Yep, that's called the gas jet. And then what we have left, Cisco. Some of you might call it the gas hose, uh, the rubber tubing. I'll refer to it as the rubber tubing, but either terminology is correct. Okay, so that's the parts of the Bunsen burner. We have the barrel, we have the collar, we have the air hole, and the gas jet's in there, and we have the base, and we have the rubber tubing. The next part of the video, I'm going to show you how to light a Bunsen burner correctly. Okay, so the steps that you're going to need to follow when you um, apply for your Bunsen burner license I'm going to show you right now so that you can watch over this and you can revise and be prepared. Firstly, we need our safety gear. Safety first. Okay, so lab coat on, top two buttons down up. And what you need to be careful with your lab coat is that the sleeves don't go over your hands. Okay, that's pretty good as you can see. Okay. So I've got my lab coat on, my hair is short enough, um, a hairband maybe would be good but if you've got long hair, now's the time to tie it back. Okay, I'm going to put my safety glasses on. Now remember, if they fog up, just give them a bit of a clean and make sure that you don't squash them right onto your face. Okay, and there you go. You are now set up to continue on to the next step. The next step is to get your heat proof mat, so heat proof mat, and you're going to check the rubber tubing for cracks. This end and this end is really important to check, and if there's a curve in it, always along the curve, there are places where it might crack. You can now put your Bunsen burner on the heat proof mat and plug it into the gas tap closest to you. Okay? Alright, so Heat proof mat, I've checked for cracks in the rubber tubing. What do I got to do next? That's right, I need to check to make sure the air hole is closed. So the air hole is now closed. 
and I think I'm about ready to uh, light the Bunsen burner. I better turn the gas on. On. Okay, I now have my match. Now this is really, really important. Before you go anywhere near the gas, you're going to light your match. And you're going to light your match away from you so that it doesn't come back on you if it breaks. So light your match. Here we go. Get it going. Now, hold it over the barrel, then you can turn the gas on. And there we go. Okay, with your used matches, there's a glass jar on each workbench. That's where the matches will go. But for the meantime, I'm just going to leave them on the heat proof mat. I'm going to move the box of matches away from the flame. As you can see, we've got the yellow flame. This is the safety flame. Uh, it's really easy to see. Um, now, down the bottom, you can actually see a little bit of blue. That's a hotter part. When I go to turn it onto the blue flame, don't do it too slow, but don't um, open it straight up really quickly, otherwise the flame might go out. So we're just going to change the Bunsen burner onto the blue flame. And here, you can probably see it's a lot harder to see. Okay. okay. So, I now have it on the blue flame. We use the blue flame for heating substances in the lab. The hottest part of the blue flame, if you can see, might look like I've got my finger in the flame. I don't. It's the top of that little blue flame that you can see. That's the hottest part. Once you've finished heating your substance, it's time to put your butt sand burner back on the safety flame. There we go, and we can now safely turn off the Bunsen burner. So I'm going to turn the gas tap off. And there we go, 101 in safely lighting the Bunsen burner. Well done guys, hopefully you followed along. Watch over this video, it will be great revision for when you get to do your actual Bunsen burner license. Thank you, take care, and remember, wash your hands.